today in the boot guy, I'm talking about my top five pick for replacement insoles to give your boots a little extra life. Most good work boots today come with an amazing insole already in there. The companies do a lot of research into trying to make that boot as comfortable as possible so they don't really skimp out on the insole. But sometimes you're trying to make your boots last a little bit longer and after about six to nine months in a pair of boots, the insole really starts to feel a little mm, sloppy or just doesn't work anymore. Usually it's not the insole, usually it's the boot itself is just taking on the natural shape of your foot and it's not supporting your body anymore. But sometimes as simple as just replacing the insole makes a boot a little bit more comfortable and gets you through the next month or two till you're ready to make the purchase of a new pair of boots. So this is my top five pick for replacement insoles. Coming in at number five is the Soft Soul Memory Insole. Yeah, that's right, memory. It's memory foam. The same stuff they build into beds and pillows and all kinds of chairs today. It's all right, it's good. It's really cushiony. This is the type of insole you usually find inside an orthopedic shoe. You know, a shoe that's built for diabetics or people with like medical foot problems. It's a really nice choice if you just need cushion. Look for memory. Coming in at number four is the high response cushion insole from Timberland Pro. Yeah, Timberland Pro really knows how to make insoles. And the high response cushion is no different. It's got an awesome arch. It's a dense insole, so it doesn't feel soft to the hand. It doesn't feel like a sponge. What's going on here is that it's really dense. It's really energy return, which means that all your steps that you take, it pushes your foot back so you're never really sucked into a certain shape of the shoe or insole. Coming in at number three is Spenko. Spenko's heavy duty insole. In my opinion, they should have called this the work support insole, but heavy duty works because heavy duty really makes us all think that it's gonna be extra tough and extra cushion. But what's going on here is that wonderful arch. You see that? I mean, that is a high point to this insole, especially if you're somebody who needs a lot of arch support and you're looking to pull something out and put something in that's going to give you that support. Spanko does a really nice job. They use two different compounds here, three if you count the top part, but the yellow part is a little bit harder. It feels like a plastic. It's more than likely it's an EVA material and they have this foam cushion at the heel and at the forefoot and it's back to this wonderful green material that repels sweat away from the foot and pushes it to the edges of the boots, causing you to have a drier, more comfortable foot. Coming in at number two is the Thoroughgood USA footbed. Now this is the exact same footbed that they incorporate into all their wedge boots. And as you know, this is a really good footbed and it's awesome that you can buy extras. So you just don't have to have it in one pair of boots. If you have a pair of boots that's not Thoroughgood and you want that Thoroughgood comfort, this is a really good place to start in order to achieve that. Coming in at number one, well, number one is the Anti-Fatigue from Timberland Pro, of course, because this is the beast of replacement insoles today. This thing is so thick, coming in at almost three quarters of an inch in the heel section. The front section is a quarter inch thick. The Anti-Fatigue is this honeycomb shaped material, so you're constantly getting this cushion and energy return from this thing that is just amazing. Now, with all the Timberland insoles and with most insoles today, there's gonna to be a little trimming involved. As you can tell, this is not the natural shape of a footbed, so this needs to be trimmed down. So there it is, that's my top five pick for replacement insoles. If you have any questions about insoles, please email me. If you're wearing insoles, aftermarket insoles inside your boots right now, Please comment below. Let guys know what insoles you found work really well for you in the type of boot that you have. It's really important that we all understand that 
every boot is different and the clearance between the footbed and the steel toe is different. So not always is something like this Timberland gonna fit inside there. Sometimes you need the thinness and the energy response of something that's nice and thin like the Thoroughgood. Hey, if you wanna know more about these insoles, which one is right for you, what's better, what's not, swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have a nice list of what each insole does, the back of the boxes, detailed photos of the insole and the instructions on the box. I'll have it all there for you. And if you're wanting to pick up a pair, I'll have a few links on where you can pick these up. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you should have any questions about insoles or work boots or work gear in general, shoot me an email. See what I got to say about whatever it is. All right. Until the next time, thanks a lot for watching. I'm the Boot Guy.